73,000 XP on that explosion. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days 9 Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and it is Horde Night 49. All right, so I have spent a lot of time, last uh, two or so in-game days, just mining my butt off. So, uh, as you can see, I've got a ton of iron, a ton of um, stone, quite a bit of lead, clay, all that kind of stuff in here and i have been making steel like crazy um so let's go ahead and uh, top these off with some more iron and clay I, I started a pit mine which i'll show you on the way over to the horde base uh, where i've gotten a lot of this stuff okay so put that back grab that steel and that gives us uh, 640 steel for repairs, which is way more than we'll actually need, but that's fine. Better to have too much than not enough, right? Um, okay, so I think we have everything else we need. Oh, you know what? I need some concrete mix. Let's grab some of that. I'm actually kind of running low on concrete mix, um, but we can certainly make some more. It's just that my um, forges have been completely tied up with making steel. So uh, what I did is I created a pit mine, and we'll we'll drive by that on the way over to the whore base just to kind of show you um, how much I've actually been <laughs> mining lately. Um, and I do have maxed out 69er and mother load now too, but we are going to take a forgetting elixir tonight uh, for you know for the horde so we can respec and get maxed out explosives. But yeah, here's the pit mine here. You can see that it's, I don't know what, 10 blocks or so down now, and I've probably killed at least a dozen screamers uh, throughout this process because, you know, the area is just heated up like crazy. Okay, so the horde base itself, um, I have repaired it and enhanced it, and basically the the killing chamber where the zombies are going to congregate, I've doubled it up with steel blocks. So it's got double steel blocks and uh, just way tougher than you know what we had on on 42 on night 42 and um so i'm expecting it to hold up for you know the the majority of the night if not the entire night um so let's see is there anything else we need to get out of here don't think so i think we're good to go with all of that yeah so let's see i i lined all of this with concrete there uh, this is all pretty much the same except for that everything is steel now, as you can see. Well, up to the third block anyways, uh, with a double thing of steel bars in there. And if we go down here, I may also made the killing chamber a 3x3 three three area instead of a 5x5, five five, which is what it was originally. Uh, which essentially means, you know, the, there's just no place down here that the zombies can escape the explosion. Uh, the other thing you can see that I've done here is I've put two... Uh, double hatches in so if the first hatch you know fails we we still have the second hatch uh, as a fallback these scaffolding ladders are doubled up and the top layer is secured with um you know these little uh i think they're called scaffolding ramp in in ramp pieces or something so even if the bottom bars are destroyed the top bars will still uh will still hold Okay, uh, I haven't really done anything up here. Uh, this is all still concrete, so we'll probably get some vultures come in tonight, but um, I'm not really too worried about vultures. If we get like a dozen of them like, <laughs> like we had before, um, I might have to see if I can deal with them. I wanted to put the SMG turret up here that we got, you know, from that tier 5 quest, <clears throat> but um, I just didn't get that far, so... Uh, we'll have to deal with it, and even you know, even if we do get a bunch of vultures, it'll take up a very long time to completely break through this concrete roof, and I can always repair it from down here as well. Okay, so in my inventory, I have a forget elixir. Let's go ahead and take that right now. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to perception and we're gonna max it out. 
and then we're gonna mash, uh, mash, ma max bloop, out demolitions expert. Okay, so basically 55, 50% uh, 50 more damage from explosives and 45% chance to dismember, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're also gonna max out penetrator in the perception tree and we're gonna max out lucky looter because theoretically that should help us when we loot the bags at the end and hopefully we'll get some better stuff. The rest of the stuff in um, Perception we don't need to do anything with right now. Let's go over to Agility because this is still our main tree here and we're going to max this all the way out. And then we're going to max out Gunslinger because our main gun weapons for tonight are the uh, SMG and the Desert Vulture. Uh, we also want to max out in uh, this tree our running gun for shoot from the hip parkour and light armor okay we'll come back to this tree later because i'm focusing on what we need for horde night let's go to the strength tree and bring that up to at least seven so that we can bring boomstick up to four and I think that's all we need for Horde Knight in the Strength Tree. See, we still have 44 points. We might come back to this. Let's go to Fortitude and get Fortitude up to 7 so that we can get Pain Tolerance up to 4 and Healing Factor up to 4. Let's go to Intellect and get it up to 7 so we can get Physician up to three we don't want to go beyond three because of the fact that amputator and euthanizer only apply to stun baton use so surgeon is going to give us the best um, healing from bandages and that sort of thing uh, we don't really need anything else in the intellect tree for the horde knight okay so we still have 17 points left i think what we'll do with those 17 points is see that's going to be two uh, six, seven, eight, and that's going to be eight points. Yeah, let's max out Fort so that we can max out Pain Tolerance and Healing Factor. That still gives us seven more points that we can do. Uh, we're not using machine guns tonight. We already got this maxed out. Agility. Let's go back to Agility. I think what we'll do then here is... We took strength up to seven, right? We could take strength up to nine because we have the stoke and take shotguns up to five. That leaves us one more point. And I don't know where to put that last point. I guess let's just, you know, put it into... Uh, doesn't really matter because we're probably going to redo all this after the Horde Night anyways. I guess we'll put it into Iron Gut. <laughs> uh, okay, so there we go. So we are well equipped for the Horde Night. And then um, tomorrow morning after the Horde Night, I will I'll buy another uh, learning or forget an elixir from Wrecked and then respec, you know, to into our normal spec. All right, guys. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I think we're as prepared as we can be. I'm expecting tonight uh, to give us a crap ton of XP, so assuming we can survive it. Our, our top priority is to keep this hatch repaired and keep bombs going down into there. Um, dem demolishers are going to be the bane of our existence, but hopefully this doubled up steel can, you know, withstand the demolisher onslaught for at least the majority of the night. If we can get through the majority of the night, even if I do have to retreat up here towards the end, uh, we should be able to rack up a metric crap ton of XP. All right, so I will meet you here in a little less than an in-game hour, and we will start Horde Night 49. All right, guys. Horde Night 49 has commenced. Let's see how things go tonight. We've got to make sure we keep this thing repaired and we keep the bombs going. Um, so let's go ahead and take this learning elixir. I only was able to get three atom junkies from wrecked, so that'll have to do. And let's do this. Ten thousand XP.
Oh shit! He must have glitched through. Do I already have a demo? Already? Crazy. 38,000 XP on that deal. Wow. Yeah, we have got to stay on top of that hatch, man. <laughs> we already got to level up. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Stupid cops, man. When they blow up like that, you don't get the XP for them or the other zombies that they kill. Okay, let's do a double. There goes the demo. Okay, let's keep this all clear here. We're already halfway to the next level. Another demo coming in. 10,000 XP there. And there goes the demo. Only 1,000 XP. Get out of here, you cheater. You're not supposed to do that. Took a little bit of damage on that deal. Let's uh heal up here. Thirty-five thousand XP. We got two skill points already. Oh, that cop's gonna blow. Okay. the demo. That block took some damage. Goodness gracious. Uh-oh. Oh, they destroyed the ladder. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and light him up over here then. 66,000 XP. Fifty thousand XP. I mean, this works too. Whoops, <laughs> it's not quite what I had in mind, but hmm, yeah. So if they're gonna blow up the ladder that easily, I'm not sure what we do about that with this particular design. Maybe create some mechanism where they have, you know, multiple ladder paths or something. Thousand XP on that deal. That's putting the grenade right up in their business. Forty thousand XP. little bit of explosion damage there. We got to keep this wall repaired. That seems to be like where they like to congregate. Four skill points obtained so far. Oh man, I was hoping that grenade would go off before those guys blew up. Okay, we still have our buffs active, so let's just keep the explosions coming. That 
some point I'm going to have to deal with those birds, I think. Seventy-three thousand XP on that explosion. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. Five skill points obtained. Thirty-nine thousand XP. Glad they're just staying at that spot because it allows us to concentrate everything here. Explosions and repairs and the whole nine yards. Oh, big little lag there. Alright, let's see if we can do something about these birds real quick. One problem with having so many birds here is that it prevents the other zombos from spawning in, and these birds don't give us any XP to speak of. Man, there was a ton of them. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Get some repairs going. Hopefully we don't get another bunch of birds like we had there, because, man, that was a shit ton of birds. 25,000 XP. Ah, crap. They broke up on the thing there. All right, we might need to retreat up to here now. So the rest of the night will be fought from the roof here. Fifty-five hundred. Let's take one of these, and we also need to take a honey. And we have an abrasion, but that's not a big deal. All right, let's just go down here a little ways. kind of just draw them over here. Um, let's take another one of these and another one of these. We're not going to see the same numbers as we were earlier, but if we can just kind of keep some steady XP coming in. That'll be good. Double whammy there for 24,000 XP. Eight skill points. <laughs> Even if we don't get any more skill points for the rest of the night, man, it was already worth it. Good lord, that's a lot of skill points. Gotta be a little more careful here. We're getting that crap beat out of us, and part of it's from my own explosives. How the frick did that happen? I think I threw it. Oh shit. Come here. Get out of here. Okay, hold on. I threw the other one right as the first one blew up and so it caused the other one to ignite right in my face 
26,000 XP there. That's pretty good. Nine skill points. Wow. Okay, let's get down and then back up. 33,000 XP for that. 21,000. What time is it? Oh, it's just a little after, after uh, midnight. We've already got nine skill points, you guys, and it's just a little after midnight. Isn't that crazy? Okay, let's go down here. Fucking birds. Get out of here. We should probably s try and stay crouched. Feel weak. Oh. Getting the shit beat out of us. Okay. Uh, weak means we need one of these. And we also need to take one of these because we got a broken arm from the bird. Let's take this gumbo stew. And we'll take one of these. Okay. So guys, even if this building collapses and we succumb, I'm I'm already exceedingly pleased with ten skill points. <laughs> ten skill points. That is just crazy. Night's not over. Things go really south on us from this point, or we might survive. Let's see. I don't really have a fallback plan from this base because I wasn't expecting. Um, I wasn't expecting the uh, frickin' uh, ladder to break so soon. You guys get over here. Come over here. This is where all the action is. They're all just derping over there. What the hell are they doing over there? The birds are tearing the shit out of me. Okay. Get some more grenades down here. Uh, we still have more time left on Adam Junkies. 11 skill points. Can you believe that? Wow. Get. Oh! Lag. Get over here! That's weird that they're standing at that particular spot. I wonder why. Thirty-six thousand XP. I got another bird. Uh, I don't. I heard him. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Fuck off, bird. Whew. Okay. Okay, let's hit this group over here again. It's just bizarre that they're standing out there like that. 12 skill points. $21,000. 46000 on that deal. Some 
nades over there, and some nades over there, and some nades over there. Take this. I'm sure glad we put those points into pain tolerance and healing factor and all that, man. We are just getting the tar beat out of us here. You know, the next time we do this, too, I should probably, what I should probably do is collect a set of good quality heavy armor. And then when we do a horde night and respec, we just spec into heavy armor because we don't we don't need to move around, right? For this. So that's something to think about. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not sure about this this design. The the weak point is the ladders. Um, unless I could come up with some way to make the ladders, you know, have multiple possible ladders for them to get through. I don't know. But, I mean, even though the, the ladder failed, we were already, what, up to five skill points before it failed or something like that? I mean, <laughs> this is just unheard of. It's just nuts. So, okay, I'm suspecting things are starting to settle down here. The other thing I should do too, if I use this base again, is I need I need some kind of canopy up here to protect against the vultures, uh, or and or get the SMG turret. Right? Take that, dude. Did that kill him? It didn't kill him. He's tough. It's a tough mofo. It's definitely thinning out, thinning out though, for sure. Come on, biker dude. That took him out. Here, one or two more sets of footsteps. Let's go down here. I think he ran away right before the thing exploded. That hit us. All right, you know what? You're pissing me off. Come here. There, off with your head. All right, you guys, it's 2.30. And we have, we were, this is just about where we were when we started. Um, Really close. So we basically earned uh, 13 skill points tonight. Unbelievable. Wow, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll absolutely take it, even though our base kind of failed. Um, I'll take it. Wow. Okay. So maybe the thing, maybe the thing, the way we treat this base is exactly the way it worked tonight, where it kind of goes in stages. It starts off, you know, down here, but then when the ladder gets destroyed, you know, then they come out here, but then when this part gets destroyed, we go up top. I mean, it worked out quite well doing it that way not that even though that wasn't the the intent right okay well uh, let's put the luckies on and we'll take this eye candy and let's see what we get for uh, loot skis here well, we'll hit the blue bags first i don't know i don't think we got any red demolisher bags tonight Man, look at how fast we loot with Lucky Looter maxed out. Boom. Uh, clubs, yeah, whatever. Okay, I think that's it for the blue bags. Now we'll do the green one, or sorry, the yellow ones. 
Um, all right, yeah, let's just get rid of those. Go drop some stuff off in the bike here. Okay, I think that's it. I, I'm I'm going to declare that in Alpha 21, Horde Night Loot sucks. We have maxed out Lucky Looter. We have Lucky Looter glasses on and eye candy. And we did not get a single noteworthy piece of gear at all of that stuff. So I don't know why the hell it's that way, but it is. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it was all useful stuff, but none of it was like, you know, we got to write home to mother about. So, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that is. kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right, guys. Well, that is it for Horde Night 49. I would call this a huge success if you take into account uh, all of the XP that we got. But, oh, my goodness, our hordes are nasty. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not sure if this... This setup is that is gonna be feasible for next time, unless you know we treat it like I said, um, in the same fashion as we did tonight, where we kind of do it in stages. Even though that wasn't really my intent, uh, it's just the way that it worked out, and it did work. I mean, my goodness, thirteen skill points—that's just crazy. That is friggin' crazy. So what we'll do tomorrow is when uh, you know, when wrecked opens, we'll go get ourselves well. I was going to say, we'll go get ourselves a new learning elixir, but I wonder if we can, with that many skill points, I wonder if we could just keep the build we currently have. I'd have to redo, um, you know, have to redo some, some agility stuff, but let's just, let's look at it. Let's go back to the base and look at it. And the thing is, is, you know, the forgetting elixirs are, are so cheap comparably, compared to what they used to be that it's not that big a deal for us to just buy another one in respect. Okay, let's get these guys topped off. Uh, incidentally, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and empty these forges out before we move. I'm just gonna build new forges. We'll take, you know, the crucibles and all the tools with us, but we'll leave the forges here. Get some more steel going. Okay, so. Let's see here. We have 13 points. Agility is still our main build, so this this has to be our our first focus. So if we go archery, max that back out. Uh, deep cuts and whirlwind. No shit. Yeah. Okay, that uses up our points, but we lose our From the Shadows, we lose two points of Hidden Strike, we lose Whirlwind. Which, you know, we could we could re-earn all that stuff as time goes on. Uh, but what we gain if we keep this... Uh, we also lose Grease Monkey, which means we're not going to find motor, uh, you know, engine or motor books or whatever the magazines are. Which sucks because... We're still trying to work on that. We lost our daring adventurer. But you know what? That's not a huge deal because, I mean, well, it is kind of a big deal because we were getting some really nice rewards from finishing quests. But what we've gained is, you know, full explosives. Full Penetrator, full Lucky Looter. We've gained full strength with, you know, the cigar, which means we have maxed out Boomstick. These I'd have to reinvest in, but it wouldn't take long, you know, to do that. And we've also gained, we've, we're like way tougher with Pain Tolerance and Healing Factor now. I shouldn't have put a point in Iron Gut. That was kind of a waste, actually. 
in hindsight. So I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about this, I guess, to see if I um, if I want to just go from here or if we want to in fact respec and get back what we had, and then we'll have 13 you know more points to spend than we didn't have before that. I kind of want to do that, I think, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, well, that was pretty cool, man. <laughs> that was intense and it was pretty cool. <coughs> so I'm going to put some stuff away here. Do we have... um? We have this Tier 5 from Wrecked here, but I think I'm going to cancel this. Because we found a new trader wrecked up in the Twin Cities, which is what I'm going to call them, um, right here. And he will he will continue, because he's trader wrecked, right? He'll he'll continue to give us Tier 5 quests. We might as well just start taking Tier 5s from him, and they'll be in these cities. They're probably not anywhere else except for in these cities, or most of them anyways. But our very next priority is to move to our new forward operating base. So we cleared that out in the previous episode. And uh, so I am going to start working on getting moved over there and, you know, getting situated. And so probably the next episode or three, well, probably not three, but the next episode at least will be, uh, you know, us moving into the place. So I think what I'll do, guys, is I think I'll move my stuff there off camera and just kind of get it there. And then we'll do an episode where we, you know, we kind of fix up the place and figure out where everything is going to go. And then after that, we'll, we'll figure out, you know, the next thing to do. Probably, you know, maybe we'll do another tier five quest or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I think that is it for this episode. So I'm going to let you guys go here and I'll see you in the next episode up at our new place, ready to move in. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.